This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk a little more specifically about customizing the quad menus. So again, the quad menu is that right-click menu that pops up everywhere I right-click. So I'm gonna go up to Customize, Customize User Interface, and then we're gonna go right to the quads. So the quad menu right now shows me when I right-click the stuff that's available in that right-click menu. So right here, it's showing me that I'm looking at the bottom right quadrant of the quad menu, which would be this one right here, Transform. So if I go to the upper right, it's Display. If I right-click over here, I see that that is the Display quad menu. Now, oddly, if I'm looking at the one that's on the bottom, it starts at the top and goes down. As I look at the one here at the top, it starts at the top here and goes down, which is starting at the bottom and going up. So you can see I have manage scene states, save scene states, hide, unhide, which is going the opposite direction here. So I'm going to add unfreeze by hit to my freeze selection and unfreeze all area. Because other than unfreezing everything, there are often times where I just want to unfreeze a single object. So we're going to find over here the unfreeze action. You can see there's an awful lot of actions that can be added. So we're going to go back up a little bit here. I'm going to find unfreeze. So I'm going to add unfreeze by hit. To do that, all I have to do is drag the unfreeze by hit right into the area where I want it. When I drop it, it's now there. So I have freeze selection, unfreeze by hit, and unfreeze all. Let's also put unfreeze by name in there. So I have options. I can freeze my selection. I can unfreeze by hit, unfreeze by name, and unfreeze all. So now when I right click over here, I see that's been added to my quad menu. There's freeze selection, unfreeze by hit, unfreeze by name, and unfreeze all. It's just nice to have more options rather than just freeze selection and unfreeze all. There are other things that we want to do. Now, based on that, you can see that if I look at tools 2, I have the context based on whatever I have right clicked on. Some of these get a bit more complicated to look at, so a lot of it's based on what I'm actually working with at the time. So my edit poly tools. Right here I've got, let's take a look here. We'll make a box and we'll convert it to an editable poly. Now that I have an editable poly, when I right click I see over here I have create. That's the only one that's available until I enter a sub-object mode. When I'm at the sub-object mode and right click, I have quite a bit more options. All of this, again, can be completely customized. The nice thing about it is that if I do decide that I've customized things incorrectly or I want to change anything, I can reload those Mac Start UIs. I can reload my menus. So we'll cancel that. I don't need to reload anything. We're going to go back make sure that everything is still in there the way I want it. I haven't added anything that I don't want. And again, just like with everything else, I encourage you to explore and take a look around, see what you can do, see how you can customize it. If you look around on the internet, there are also plenty of customized UI and interface schemes that you can download and install. Again, make sure that you do not overwrite the UI files that come with Mac so that you can always restore things to where their original state was without reinstalling the software.